A new feature called Read Pacing is now available on Gen 2 PCI Express switches. Read Pacing opens up new avenues for enhancing performance in systems with multiple I.O. streams. Read Pacing solves system performance issues resulting from endpoint starvation, a phenomenon which occurs in PCI Express switches when there is an unbalance between upstream and downstream port link widths, an uneven number of read requests made by the endpoints, or both. Either of these situations can lead to one endpoint dominating the root complex queue. This starves the other endpoints, degrading system performance by denying the other endpoints sufficient bandwidth. When read pacing is enabled in a PCI Express switch, read pacing queues are used to manage the incoming read request such that none of the endpoints dominate the root complex queue. This allows for a more optimized flow through the root complex and has been shown to improve performance by over 10 times. Without read pacing, performance bottlenecks can occur due to the mixing of slow and fast IOs through the same switch. In this example, the fast IO is a fiber channel HBA and the slow IO is a gigabit Ethernet NIC. The fiber channel HBA makes multiple 2K read requests. Then the root complex queues up those requests. Then the Ethernet NIC makes a single 1K read request and the root complex queues that request. However, the Ethernet NIC must wait for the root complex to service the fiber channel HBA requests before servicing the Ethernet NIC's read request. This causes endpoint starvation on the Ethernet NIC. As a result, the Ethernet NIC performance is significantly impacted. Now let's see how read pacing increases system performance based on a fair allocation of bandwidth to the downstream ports. With read pacing enabled, even though the fiber channel host bus adapter makes multiple 2K read requests, the switch only allows one of those requests at a time to pass through the switch. The switch then allows the Ethernet NIC's read requests to pass through in front of the large fiber channel HBA requests based on programmable settings. As a result, the Ethernet NIC gets serviced more often with no impact to the fiber channel HBA performance. Neither endpoint is starved and performance is optimized. Here is an example of read pacing that was measured in the lab. The upstream port of the PLX switch is connected to the root complex while the downstream ports fan out to a Catalyst PCI Express exerciser and an off-the-shelf gigabit Ethernet NIC. The Catalyst exerciser is set up to mimic a fast I.O., sending multiple back-to-back -back read requests to the host, as seen in a fiber channel HBA. The Gigabit Ethernet NIC represents a slow I.O. as shown in the example on the previous slide. As shown in the chart, with read pacing enabled, the Ethernet NIC throughput increases by 10 times, with no significant change in the throughput of the Catalyst traffic. To summarize, these new Gen 2 PCI Express switches offer balanced performance under a wide variety of loads and with read pacing, over 10 times improvement in throughput. Read pacing prevents endpoint starvation and provides a defense against rogue IOs which can cause systems to fail. This enables a more robust reliability, availability, and serviceability in mission-critical applications. Thank you.